Hey Marcus here from Hemispheres Wine Guild, I'm doing a review on Scott Wines Shiraz Sangiovese 2010. Sam Scott's an interesting guy, he's doing some, uh, some great stuff in the Adelaide Hills, uh, particularly interested in uh, Italian bridles. And this is a blend of uh, Shiraz, which is not Italian, it's a uh, northern Rhone variety, but you see it widely planted in Australia, and Sangiovese, which is a central Italian variety that you'll normally see in, in uh, areas such as Chianti Classico or Brunello di Montalcino, some of those uh, uh, appellations in the centre of, of Italy. It's an interesting wine because what it does is it juxtaposes two uh, very different styles of grapes. Sangiovese tends to be quite savoury, very tannic, uh, long-lived. Uh, Shiraz is, uh, in Australia anyway, it has lots of fruit, it's uh, very highly textured, it's got uh, good, uh, good acidity generally, um, and highly coloured. Uh, but when you put the two together, it's, it, it, it kind of works. I was, I was a bit uh, dubious whether uh, the, uh, the blend would work, but uh, it, it somehow it does. It has those uh, those lovely chocolate licorice flavours from Shiraz that you get in Australia, but it's also got this uh, underlying kind of resinous black olive uh, flavours that are, are more uh, are more in line with uh, Sangiovese. So on the palate, immediately the uh, Shiraz flavours come uh, come into. So you've got again you've got that that licorice and and plum. Uh, notes, but in the background, particularly in the finish, you, you, it's quite evident to have that Sangiovese tannin and uh, a slight, slight uh, bitterness, which is very common in uh, in uh, Sangiovese. Uh, this is a great wine. This is uh, 2010. I would say it's it's a bit young now. I'd, I'd probably give it a, a a year or so to uh, to drink, but it'll last a long time. It'll probably last till 2020 and beyond.